so disappointing, so disappointing as the Sixers really just almost got blown out of their own building against the Portland Trail Blazers this afternoon. I'm sick to my stomach. 19 offensive rebounds allowed. We just got destroyed on the glass, destroyed on the glass. And obviously with the absence of Joel Embiid, it just shows how important that body really is. Cantor. Nurkic, how did we get destroyed like that when it comes to allowing them to, to have 19, that's right, 19 offensive rebounds? I'm sick to my stomach. I see Amir Johnson out there playing a, a valuable minutes in, in that game, and what the hell is going on? That's, that's where we're at right now. Amir Johnson gets dunked on on one end, and then on the other, he gets so respect, like disrespected defensively that it's allowed him to take the three-pointer, and he barely just grazed the front of the rim. Uh, what is Amir Johnson doing out there? Oh, that was so frustrating. The Sixers just not ready to play, not prepared to go out there. The 1 o'clock start, obviously a weird one. It's not what you're used to. You go through different routines. Your body clock's different. That showed it. The Sixers just did not go out there ready to play as a team. The Portland Trail Blazers had a job to do. Dominate the paint. Attack the paint. Understanding Joel Embiid's not going to be there. Just just keep going in the paint. Keep working on the glass. And that's exactly what they did. And they dominated. Dominated in that specific department. And that's what they needed to do to get this win in Philadelphia. 20 plus points uh, down in the third quarter. Just a joke. Just an absolute joke out of the Sixers today. Not everyone. You look at Ben Simmons, 29 points, 10 assists, 7 boards. And actually, believe it or not, he did a pretty decent job at the free throw line. Tobias had a good day at the office, shooting the ball. But I'm sorry, as a team, all around game, what is there to say on this? They look pathetic. They look bad. J.J. Redick not being able to cash in where he does his work from the three-point line. Not effective day from him. When you look at the stats from the bench, okay, Mike Scott, 15 points in 30 minutes. T.J., 6 points, 6 assists. But, uh, I mean, at some point this game was such a blowout, our bench was playing minutes. I'm just really, 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 really disappointed on how the Sixers came out today and, and looked and played. I was just extremely upset with their efforts today. It's as simple as, as they weren't ready. They weren't ready to compete out there. The third quarter, it, it kind of got blown open for majority. We allowed 41 points and we only scored 26. The third quarter was was a problem for the 76ers and See, I was lucky. I was lucky that I was out for the game. I I, I had a party to attend at one o'clock and I was fuming watching this game. Fuming. I was pissed, heated. My face was turning red and I said, I I'm kind of happy I'm not at home right now." Because I would really lose it. I would really go off. I would be insanely freaking out. Now it's about four, you know, four hours, almost five hours since game time, and I'm still pissed. I'm still hated, but I'm nowhere near as much as I was. See, every win is so important. Every win is so crucial. Understanding that that fourth, fifth, and third seed differential, the difference between that, and I understand Portland's a good team, and I get that, and I understand we were with Joel Embiid. But I'm sorry, the effort that I saw today, I, I, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. That was bad. So many of these wins that we need are important. It's so crucial to stick away from this fifth seed. And I'm sorry, but you keep looking at you keep looking at the Pacers who are Victor Oladipo less winning ball games, finding ways to win. I don't think they're going anywhere. If they were gonna go anywhere, it would have already happened by now. So we got to keep tacking on wins. And performances like this, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to be effective. The glass, 53 to 33. That's sickening. I can't get over the offensive boards. 
Sickening. We didn't shoot well from the free throw line as a squad all around. And looking at some other stat lines for the Sixers. 15 points for Jimmy Butler in his 30 minutes. Boban only four. He obviously didn't produce the same level of offense as he did for us uh, against the Miami Heat. Now, would I expect him to do that at that type of level? No, I wouldn't expect Boban to keep up what he did against the Heat. I wouldn't expect him to continuously do that. But, you know, he, he's a slower guy. He's a slower guy, and... and they have talent. The Trailblazers have talent at that position. Going into this game, the first thing on my mind, besides keep Dame Lillard respectful, keep him to respectful numbers, and McCollum, keep him to respectful numbers, because he went off last time he played him, I said, that's going to be tough for Boban. It is. It is. Because they have players who are very versatile in that position down there, and, and that's exactly what they took advantage of the most. But Ben had a really strong night. Ben had a really strong night. It's a shame that it got spoiled to that extent based off the fact that the team just wasn't, wasn't, was not there. Nurkic, 24 and 10. Dame only had 17, but he had 8 and 6. Just looking around, Canner off the bench. It really comes down to the big guys and taking advantage of having no Joel Embiid. That's just pretty much how, how the game played out. And, and I'm, I'm really frustrated. I, I'll be honest with you, because now this is two games since the break, and I gave them first break. I gave them a, a benefit of the doubt. First game back, it's going to be sloppy. I gave them the benefit of the doubt. That's exactly what I did. And here's game two, and, and I don't want to hear the no Joel Embiid thing. It changes completely, yes, but we should still be able to win. We should have better efforts. JJ needs to be better than he was today. He really couldn't get going whatsoever. Our bench play needs to be strong. It's kind of hard to, to really evaluate it off statistical numbers based off the fact that it was a 20-point game late in this thing, and, and it is what it is. Like, yeah, that's what happens. You throw in your bench and some garbage time minutes and, and whatnot. Some time that really isn't valued. It just sucks. It sucks because I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I watch other teams play. I watch their benches. And I, I understand, and I will keep saying it, I understand Joel and B to this lineup changes it tremendously. But today was more than just today was more than just no Joel and B. Because I thought there was a, a, a lack of a lack of play. That's how I saw it. That's what my eyeball saw today. Just a team that didn't seem engaged enough for my liking. Whether that's because the 1 o'clock start was a thing. Because think about it. When it's a 7 o'clock game, they have their specific shoot-arounds at specific times. Now it's they're eating breakfast and going right to the right to the Wells Fargo Center to play. That can mess with a lot of players. Absolutely it can. You have to make sure it doesn't, but it can. I, I just keep sighing consistently in this. Because that's that just shows to you how much this hurts me. How much I'm really crushed from watching our Sixers play a game like that. I just don't expect it. I don't allow it. And it really irritates me. Now, luckily, my uncle has two free tickets to the to the game tonight, the Flyers game outside at the at the um stadium series. So I'm gonna go to that. So from right now, I came home from the party, record, change, bang, right over to the link, free tickets. I'm stoked. That'll keep my mind off this thing. Hopefully the rain doesn't screw me up or the Flyers get blown out. Hopefully none of that happens to make me even more upset than I already am about the Sixers. There I am. That must be my, my 15th sigh. And I normally don't do that. I normally don't sit here and just sigh. But that shows you my frustration and how much this is killing me inside and how much I'm devastated about this Sixers game today. They were getting blown out. Blown out of their own building unwatchable almost, hideous basketball, hideous, Amir Johnson getting minutes, oh, oh, you know, it's tough when Amir Johnson's getting minutes, I don't know, that's all, that, that's really all I have, let, let me know what you think down below in the comment section, are you, are you okay with this understanding there's no Joel Embiid, or does this bother you as much as it bothers me, 
I know the difference in Joel Embiid and Boban, and I know how they exploited that situation. I get it. Still pisses me off. Still pisses me off, and I think I have the right for it to still piss me off, but I want to know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know. I will see you next time. Let's go Flyers now. Hopefully the weather stays up for me. Thank you guys so much for watching.